Hello everybody, welcome back to Laugh, Wind and Perspire. Here's my mate Kaz, she's also part of Laugh, Wind and Perspire in case you didn't I'm know the she was a spare part. She's not, she is actually part of this too. Anyway, Kaz, what are we talking about this week? Well means, thank you for the big introduction. We are going to be talking about music. Music. Music what? can be such a revelation. Dancing around. That was a good place to spot a start. Spot. 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 Start. Madonna. <gasps> Name your favorite all-time Madonna song. Holiday. Really? It brings back the most my first holiday abroad with my girlfriends when I was 17. Tenerife. Um, That's America, story. babe. Lineker's Bar. Been there, done it. <laughs> Met a lovely guy. And I've got to tell you, that's another story for another time. Because, uh, yeah, that's another story for another time. Did you meet but, one of the romance in Tenerife? Because I did as well. Yes. But I reconnect. I messaged him. So that was in 1987, names. And I messaged him about four years ago. You because, told me. Yeah. Right, this is another day. Yeah, that's another day. So, Sorry, the editor's listening, probably thinking, oh, for God's sake, now I've got to edit this out. Go. Sorry. Right, Madonna, top favourite song? Holiday for me. Holiday. What's yours, what's yours names? Oh, I, I don't know if I can decide. It's, it's either Borderline or Papa Don't Preach. But then I do like Live to Tell. Sing it. If I ran away. I'd oh. never have the strength to go very far. But then how can you not like crazy for you? Touch me once and you know it's true. How could you not like I that? I never wanted anyone. Did you see ever see your live names? Yes, I did. I went on the Causing a Commotion tour. Yeah, when, at Wembley. Wembley. Don't tell oh. me you were there. I was. It's about 80 something. The height of her career at Wembley. Mm, 80 something. Mm, quite possibly. Uh, I'm going to say okay. 86. 86. 86. Yeah, it's probably because a year I left school. You were about 11. No, I left in 87. I know you're four years younger than me. You didn't leave in 86, unless you did sixth form. I <laughs> know. Oh, I lived in 87, 80, yeah, I did. I was 20 then. Oh yeah, so you, yeah, no, I was born in 67. Yeah, no, you're right, sorry. Who else did you go and see in concert in the 80s? Oh, Neans, it was my life. My first ever live concert was Madness. Was it? Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, here at the Brighton Centre, who was yours? Um, that my first ever was, I'll give you a clue. Well, I'll sing it. I'll, I'll sing one of the obvious ones. Rain or shine will always be one in a million times. Steps. Not steps in the 80s. That's a stunning word with yourself. Okay. You know what? I can't wait. Can't wait oh, another minute um, since I'm at it. Oh, I love it. There was five of them. Five. No. Star. Five star. <laughs> yes. Five star. Love five star. And it was great because it was sponsored love. by Crunchy. So everywhere I went, there were just crunchies everywhere. I was in my flipping element. And that was wow. at the Cliffs Pavilion in South End. Oh my God, it was amazing. And then another band that I went to see were Cool and the Gang. Oh they are playing God. in Margate next year. Are you joking me? No. Right, we're doing that. What's your favourite Call in the Gang song? Probably Straight Keep moving, yeah, moving straight ahead. Know that one? No. Well, because I'm singing it so badly. <laughs> straight ahead. Can't do Celebration. It's so overplayed. It bores me senseless. No, oh. you see... Talking of boring, I, this might be a bit controversial. Go I on. don't like ABBA. Okay, okay. There is a there is a bit of a. I think 
I understand why people don't like ABBA, a bit like I understand why people don't like Steps, but I love ABBA and Steps. Absolutely love them. It, they, are, they are hugely pop, but what they also are is incredibly amazing harmony vocalists. I really appreciate where they're coming from. And the songwriting by ABBA is amazing. I mean, come on, we're talking about songs that came out in the 70s that are still now standing the test of time. So you can't say that you might not like them, <laughs> but they are incredible artists. Yes, I agree. I, I mean, when I say I don't like them, I would never put ABBA on. But when they come on, we always, you know, dance, you know all the words to all the songs, don't you? You're dancing, but they're not a go-to. No, no, I hear you. But what I love about ABBA is I went to the ABBA concert recently. You know, the one where they're all... Oh, the voyage thing. The hologram. Yeah, yeah, the voyage. They're all holograms. My mum, my daughter, myself and my husband... So you've got three generations there, all loving the music. And I think there's not many other artists. Yeah. Queen, maybe Queen. Oh, Queen. Do you like Queen? Love. So I love, it's not my kind of music, but it is so recognisable. And I really, really love, what's the, um, the, with, uh, the story of Queen with the amazing... We will rock you. Do, what the musical? No, not. Oh no, I hate musicals. The the, the film. The film. What's it called? Wasn't that called Bohemian Rhapsody? Oh yeah, was it? <laughs> love that. I love the story behind Freddie Mercury. I didn't know the story. I loved that. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Brilliant film. But also, you're right. So recognisable. Didn't appreciate them at all, really, when I was no. growing up. Now I do Bohemian Rhapsody in my set. It storms it. Just that piano riff. Du, du, dun, dun, ding, ding. And everyone goes, ah, it's amazing. It? <laughs> yes. And the bit where it goes, da, na, 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 na. everyone just does that. Literally. You got blood on your face, your big, big disgrace. disgrace. Kicking your Fanny all over. All over that place. Yeah, can't remember what the words are. I just make we them up. We will, we will rock you. I Go mean, it's just cats. iconic, isn't it? It's like I went to see the Rolling Stones in the summer at Hyde Park. I'm not a massive Rolling Stones fan, but they are an iconic band. And I'm telling you now, Mick Jagger was running Oh, along the stage, like a bloody gazelle. He was unbelievable. I think he's 80-something. I was just about to say, he's got to be about 80, isn't he? He was unreal. And you know a lot of his songs. Do you know what I mean? They know a lot of their songs. You know, I would go and see them, absolutely, because I think, like you say, they're such an iconic band. But if, back in the day, would you have been a, a Rolling Stone or a Beatle? Neither. Don't like the Beatles. My oh, mum was a massive... Up. How can you not like the Beatles? Beach Boys. East yeah, Coast lovely. girls are hip. I really dig those stars they wear. Do you know what? I I'll love give you that. See, again, when it comes to harmonies, the Beach Boys are amazing. 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 And their Pet Sounds album, well, I mean, it's up there, isn't it? Something like one of the top <laughs> albums in the top 20 or something worldwide. Um, they are incredible. But I don't, you can't, you don't like the Beatles? No. Do you like any of their tracks? Or okay, I'm, I would never okay. put the Beatles up. My mum loved the Beatles. Yeah. Or my mum was obsessed with Ringo Starr. My mum was really? obsessed with Ringo Starr. Yeah, she when but she mum was always a Motown. So mum got me into the Motown side of things. So did you did Pretty you long. find that we got to talk? We'll talk about that in a sec. But did you find when you were at school, if you fancy somebody, if they liked a certain music, you would chun like their music, like I'd become a mod, like I'd wear a park and then I'd become like a rude girl, like I'd like the specials. And Do then you know I'd what? like, yes, little yes, fatty, yes. your little fatty, fatty, ready? ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny you say that. I went out with a lad called Darren and he loves Simple Minds. Next thing I know, I've been out and got the album and I'm going, <laughs> going 
Oh, jungle land, you make me feel so glad. <laughs> Never like oh, simple minds. <laughs> Honestly, I remember I loved imagination. Okay. Oh, yes. And they, I mean, I was a big Duran Duran fan as well. And I, I loved imagination. And um, he had an imagination album and I had a duplicate of Rio. Okay. So he said, if you come round to my house, he goes, we, we could swap. I'll give you my imagination album. And it's almost like coming to my, you know, I'll show you my puppies kind of thing. And literally we swapped albums and then we just snogged for hours listening to imagination. Oh, mate, that is a good album to snog to. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can feel it now, babe. Imagination. I loved Imagination. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant band. But I did he's still going, like... isn't he, old Lee John? He's still touring. Is he still going? Yes, yes he is. Bloody hell, that's impressive. Yeah. Still doing his thing, baby. Still doing his thing. So when you grew up, Nina, because obviously, for those of you who don't know, guys, Nina is a singer. Obviously, you can't really <laughs> tell on no, there. Apparently so. Yeah, I do do um, the old gig. Did you... Did you... So your dad was a singer out of your parents, wasn't My it? My dad, was, yeah, but he was more of a backing singer in bands. He played guitars and things like that. So, but my, you know, my mum and dad were both massively on the sort of, my mum moved down from Glasgow in the sixties and they were massively on the music scene. So one of my mum's friends that she lived with at the time went on to go out with Richard Branson, who is now married to him, Joan Templeman. My mum was sharing with the flat with her at the time. I know, never been invited to his island, rude. Um, and they rude. used to hang out with like the searchers and stuff like that, my mum and dad. Yeah, they were really oh big. So one of my mum's best friends, Billy Adamson, who sadly passed away in lockdown actually, but he was one of the searchers. So I've always been really heavily influenced from my mum and my dad. But my mum, when I was growing up, she loved things like the Bee Gees, all that yeah. kind of stuff. But she also loved things like Genesis, the Moody oh. Blues. Super Tramp. So I've got all that in my genre too, you know? Yeah. Which is Phil Collins. Oh, come on. I mean, a lot of Genesis fans will say the Peter Gabriel stuff is the stuff they love, and that's totally fine. Love that. But I do love the Phil Collins stuff, and I love Phil Collins solo. Love his solo. I mean, I mean come on. against all odds, separate lives. Like, oh yeah, there's goodness. just, yeah, so much, isn't there? Unbelievable. So yeah. Unbelievable name. So I've always had a really good influence when it comes to music. Actually, my dad's taste in music, I think, was pretty shocking. My mum's was better. Um, <laughs> my dad liked a lot of country and western. So growing up, I hated it. Yeah. Yeah. But now I appreciate it a bit more. I wouldn't listen to it all the time, but I do definitely appreciate it a lot more. And I think because a lot of the bands that we, he was in, he'd have that kind of, you know, um, he'd play that kind of stuff. But I think as well, you were either a Durrani or a Whammy or a Spandau Ballet. No, see, I was a Durrani and a Whammy. If you had to choose one, hun. Now I would choose Wham. In those days, you the chose Duran Duran 13 times. Why? I was Who did you fancy? Uh, John Taylor. Oh, God, yes. Me too. And Simon Le Bon has the same birthday as me. Oh. So I actually felt that I had a special connection with Duran Duran. Mate. I would have thought to myself, that's a sign that we're meant to be together. That's how much of a yeah. stalker I was. Yeah. Definitely. I remember seeing Simon Le Bon's wife, Yasmin Le Bon, at Paris Airport. I'd been there to watch the rugby, nothing glamorous, guy. I like England and France. I love rugby. I'd been there to watch the rugby. I was so hungover. We were standing at Paris Airport waiting to get the airplane. There was Yasmin, Yasmin Le Bon and her two daughters, no Simon. I had to go near her to smell her to see if she smelt rich. <laughs> and did she? Just all smell of Simon. I don't know. I don't know. I, I couldn't even speak. I was, and my oh. mates were going, Cass, what is wrong with you? I'm going, Simon, you don't understand. <laughs> Simon Le Bon's wife. Oh, brilliant. Rich, I wanted to I touch mean? her. Oh, no, honestly. 
and they're still together, which is lovely. I love I that. I know, I know. That's amazing, isn't it? I um, I found out that George Michael's dad had a restaurant in Middlesex, uh, a Greek restaurant. So I decided to rock up there one day with a friend and uh, people were going in and out the restaurant like workers and I'd just be really cool and walk down the high street, pretend it's not me and go, George! <laughs> and then walk the other way and George! <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, everyone must have done that all the time, but I just thought, I'm going to get a glimpse. I never did get a glimpse. I love George Michael. Wham! And George, I mean, I was at the Wham final, just so you know. Got I to. literally ugly cried, like properly ugly cried, because I thought it was just like, it was a wor- one of the worst days of my life. Yeah, because they were splitting up. I mean, they, my, my brother-in-law loves Wham. We have Wham off singing. And I, have I said this before with you? That no. we've sat, we sang, we can sing the whole Wham album, but there was one song, because I was saying, I know every single word to every single song. One song, and I got two words wrong, and he beat me to it. Which song was it? Can't remember. Oh, have you got You Can Have My Credit Card, baby? Because it, oh, I love all those. I love them. All the album tracks. Where Did Your Heart Go? What a track. Where did your heart go? Oh, but George Michael, as a solo artist, Things like Listen Without Prejudice and he's older. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. They're amazing. amazing. Yeah, he's an amazing and, artist. And he was really kind and did secret things that nobody oh, ever knew. He did for charity. You're so right. I know. Lovely. How do you feel about Elton John? Love. Me too. Absolutely. I saw him last year. The day after I saw... No, the day before I saw... Uh, Rolling Stones at Hyde Park, pitch perfect, unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah, he's like, great. Are, are you oh, honestly? I saw him with Eric Clapton, Adele. It was like it was about eighteen. Do you like Eric Clapton? I did like Eric Clapton. Not my cup of tea. No. No, my mum likes Eric Clapton. Not my cup of tea. What about Billy Joel? No, not really. Love. He's at Hyde Park, isn't he? Next year. Are you going to go? Potentially, <laughs> potentially, yeah. Thing is, I, 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 I'd rather go to more intimate gigs. Not that you can ever get to them. Oh my I'd god! Love to I see love... their facial expressions. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uptown girl. <laughs> She's been living in an uptown world. I bet your but mother. Yeah, never... I know it's cheesy and it's been done so many times, but it is such a great track. What about One Hit Wonders? Because I always think, I know it gets on everyone's nerves, but I always think the chicken song, you know, the whole la, 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 la. chicken in the air, stick a deck chair up your nose, da, 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 da. and to speak a rapper ho, that awful. song, it's so bad. But when you actually listen to the lyrics, because when you think about it, Black Lace were doing all these songs like, you know, you know, like Sleep. Wave your hands. And we were all in the clubs doing it or whatever, you know, in the pubs and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when Spit and Image come out of a song like Hold a Chicken in the Air, Stick a Detcher Up Your Nose, it was just a genius. I thought, oh my God, that's too funny because the British public probably would go, right, where's the fucking deck chair? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because Black Lace was telling us to clean our teeth and go like Superman and we were doing it all. Great wow. song. A, a little bit of trivia here for you. May have already mentioned this before. What was the track that kept Vienna by Ultravox off the number one spot? Oh, Vienna. I don't know. Do you not know? The chicken you know, song. You'd have thought that would have gone to number one, wouldn't you? Macarena. No. I'm not being funny. That was in the 90s. You, you're... <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it was Joel Dolce. Ah, oh, shut up in your face. Oh, what's the matter? You? Matter you. Hey. hey. Got to no respect. Why are you looking so sad? It's a not so bad. It's a nicer place. So shut up in your face. That's the one. How can that keep Vienna off the top spot? 
Ultravox were depressing now. Didn't like Ultravox. Yeah, they were a bit, a bit. But can we just talk about the ultimate from our day, Kaz? I mean, and I still watch this and get goosebumps because I think we were pr pretty much at the height of just being cool. And, and then they go on to release Band-Aid. That had never been done ever before. To get all of those bands and those artists together in one room to create a song was just magical to be in that moment, wasn't it? Amazing. Like, oh, I just knocked my glasses off my head with excitement. But... Amazing. It, yeah, just to live that. And, you know, to also have been an artist that was in the original Band-Aid uh, lineup, like, wow. I know. I mean, wow. do you remember Live Aid? Do you yes. remember how hot, it was on one of the hottest days of the year. Yes. I was at home. I so wish I'd gone. And I just remember watching it and thinking, I so wish I was there right now. I mean, how amazing. Yeah. And they were doing it, weren't they, from America? And yeah, like, all like, over. And again, that was something that we'd never really seen before. No. On television. And so I just you know, I get goosebumps now, honestly, just literally thinking about it because I love that I lived that time. And, right. and even things like Last Christmas give me feels because I think about you know again in your sort of your teen heyday if you like that comes out and you genuinely feel that you're you're in love with you know whoever it was at the time even though you wasn't with them even though you were single and sad and had no friends Michael Jackson yes best it's my top I've seen like you means probably seen loads of people like still my most Unbelievable. Up oh, there with Lionel Richie. He, I saw him live at the old Wembley Stadium. Oh, my God, he could sing. Oh, my God, he could perform. Mate, he was probably, I, I, I'll put it out there, I think he probably was the best performer ever. I've never mm -hmm. seen him live. I had tickets for, oh. was it Invincible? The tour that never happened. Um, but... Absolutely gutted I never saw him live. I love his music. I know there's a huge amount of controversy around everything. Absolutely. But I, claim I bloody love his music. There are so oh. many. I love all his dance ones. I love his slow ones. I love I the think if you five. had to name an album, which album? For me, I think it'd be Off the Wall. Off the Wall, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, Bad is a great album and Thriller, you know, and... Yeah, I think if I had to nail it, it'd be off the wall album because he produced you... that with Quincy Jones, who I adore. Quincy Jones, unbelievable. So yes. if you, okay, so Neen, so you, if you could only, if you could see anybody alive or dead live, who would it be? See, I've always thought I've known the answer to that, but then we have just spoken about Michael Jackson, so I think he would be up there. But I would love, 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 love. To have seen the Bee Gees in the 70s. Oh, you love the Bee Gees, don't you? I just think, again, it's harmony. I love any, I know how difficult, how difficult, sorry, harmonies are to hold. Really difficult. And for them to be able to do it all the time as a three-piece harmony, I just think is incredible. And I mean, all the Saturday Night Fever stuff that they've done, yeah, I think for me, the Bee Gees. Bee Gees. Mm. Mine would be Whitney. Mate. Have you never seen her live? Have you? No, 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 I haven't. I haven't. No. But my friend, you know, Gail has, a couple of my friends have. They just say she was amazing. Absolutely amazing. That is just, I would love to have seen Whitney means. I'd love. Dinah Ross, I'd love to see anything old Motown. Dinah Ross in the pits. So, no, Dinah Ross and Supremes. Who was the pips? Who Gladys was... Knight. Gladys Knight. I mean, come on. Oh, one of my all-time favourite songs is Baby, my love is on the line. Your mind, baby, change don't change your mind. Don't oh, change it. Such a tune. Such a tune. Mine do you is... know what? We could talk. We've got to, we're going to have to do another one on music because I think oh, my we God are names. going on. And we need, to do a, a, we need to do another one, I think, or oh, we could do millions of music because you and I both love music is modern day music. Yeah, see, I wouldn't have much to talk about on that. Although I am loving the current Megan Trainer song. Yeah, you said that in your car the other day. There is something about it that is quite, I don't know, the 
the tune of it is quite uplifting. happy. I quite like it. Yeah. I mean, she's gone about wearing Versace and all that, but I still think it's quite an upbeat little tune. She's still sort of, do you know what? This, this is going to sound a little bit patronising, I suppose, to any young ones that are out there, but I like the fact that she's going about wearing Versace and everything, but actually, do you know what? If my hair's a mess and I'm wearing my hoodie, I can still turn your head. And I think I like that because we don't have to all be in designer get-up gear. Yeah, absolutely. We trade a lot on social. We do. So good on you, Megs. Good on you. I like that. Mate, music. Yeah, we can go on about this forever. You and I music both. Music be oh. so... I, it's just... It, and, and do you know, interesting that... I'm going to leave this in a minute. Um, fin wrap it up in a sec. Interesting means when my mum died... I couldn't listen to the radio. I couldn't listen to music. It was too, because mum would always laugh at me and take the mickey out of me because I love singing and I'm shit at singing. And she'd, go, she'd like wince and go, you sound like a tearing oil podcast, come on. And, but I knew all the, she goes, how is it? You could never study, but you know all the words to all the songs. I don't know, mum, I love music. But that's and it, it's, isn't it? It's like dementia, isn't it, Means? And that's- You know what? I, and and, and what, actually, yeah, I, to me, and I think this is a really good place to wrap it up as well, because is music is therapy. Whether you're listening to your favourite tunes at the gym, whether you have dementia in a care home. And one thing I'm going to request that everybody does now, you make a playlist. Just make a playlist of yeah. all your favourite tracks. I've got mine. It's just called Neen's Faves in my Spotify. Because if anything ever happens to me, no one's going to know. But they, you know, what my favourite tracks are. They'll think they know, but they actually don't. And then you can put that on. I'll sit in a care home. I'll just boogie away. I'll be happy as Larry. Music is therapy. Ne you, so you've got Nina's tunes. Oh, no, Nina's. Nina's faves. Nina's faves on Spotify. And you've got Kaz, C-A-S, tunes, which are my faves that I add to every time. Oh, my God, I love that song. Add it onto there. So you've yeah. got our, our vibes. Yeah, defo. I've also got a Ransom Big Pants one, which is just... I got everybody to send in their all-time faves, which I update from time to time. So I just add everyone's favourite upbeat tracks to it. Love it. Yeah, it's just, honestly, music is therapy. That is it. Music, and it's, it's emotional, memory evoking. It takes you to happy places, takes you to sad places. Like when I said holiday yeah. with Madonna, takes me to a great place. Um, but it's, it's, it's just, oh my God, Nick, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. Does what it take you, you to Tenerife music? with a cheeky finger? Took me to Tenerife with a cheeky finger. I thought it might do, babe. I thought it might do. Right, on that note, music is therapy. Cheeky fingers. Never <laughs> underestimate the power of it. <laughs> we'll Love see you, you next. Oh, no, we've got to say, haven't we? Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> do that. Yeah. Little... yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, and we're available on all good podcasts. With a cheeky finger. Yeah. Bye, love. Bye.